What's good people, it's you guys here, coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about how I like to use some of the sample packs that I have, some of the drum loops and the drum breaks that I have. I'm specifically using Logic and Serato Sample, and here's why. Okay, so over here I have some of my sample packs here, you can find these on my website, link in the description. We have the 50 lo-fi drum breaks, as well as the 100 hip-hop boom-bap drum breaks. I'm specifically going to be using uh, this sample pack here. Uh, I'm gonna go with something that's in 80. Now my project's in 70. And a lot of you will just drag the sample in and then try to use like pitch and tempo to try to change what's going on here. And like you can do that. So let's just like, let's just grab one for example here. And if I just throw this into my project, yeah, sure, you can put it in. You can just drag the end to the loop. It'll adjust it all up and align the transients. And we, when we play that, It's not bad it's not extremely distorted it's not it's not terrible um but if i were to you know if it, if it was more dramatic we're going from 70 to 80 what if my project was at 55 for example um and we don't want to you know put it down to one we don't want to speed it up because that's going to be too much that's that's essentially at 110 so what you end up doing is again you stretch it to that next that two bar length it aligns the transients and now listen I mean, yeah, if you're making some lo-fi, that actually has like a really cool effect to it. And how do we get it so it doesn't have that effect? Well, that's why I use Serato Sample. And if I open up Serato here, and I just will just drag that same one in. Uh, again, if you guys want to do this along, I'm using 80 BPM 14. Um, let's just put this back to my 70. We'll just solo this out. And uh, here's how I set up. Here's how I set it up when you're using a drum break. So you can just push one of these buttons, or if you have drum pads, you can kind of tap them in. So for example, I can just kind of go through and go. Okay, so. Right, and you can do that. And that's that's one of the reasons why I love Serato Sample is just to be able to do something like that. Um, I'll just kind of come through and I'll get whatever I want and I'll put them on the pads that I want. So just like that, I just want the. Now you'll notice it with the snare the most is right now it's on this um, one shot versus like a playthrough. So when I push it and I don't hold it down all the way, it's like playing only this section. It sounds like this. And that's, that's terrible. Not only are we gonna align that top playhead, but there's a bottom playhead where we can align towards the end. If you don't want all the, all the um, release here, we can pull this back a little bit more and you can actually just turn up the release a little bit because you don't want any clicks or pops. But for me, I want that whole release of that snare. We'll go to the other ones and we'll do the same. Even if you're like, you know what, that's fine. If I don't push it down all the way, no big deal. When you're doing drum kits, I highly recommend that every single pad that you have assigned um, is a highlight like this. And I'll show you why. We'll use one. I'll put a random pad at the end and I'll explain why. You want to make sure that they all have that um, timing where they have a, a set end. And the reason why is because if I switch this over now and I push this pad, it continues to play the whole beat. So we'll put this on continuous play where it'll just kind of play through rather than the one shot. And it'll stop because we put set ends. We put an end marker for each one of our pads. Um, and then we're gonna put on poly so now I can play my kick and my snare or and my hi-hat at the same time. Whereas when it's on mono, you can't do that. It kind of cuts it all out. So now not only can we play multiple, but now it'll play through. And we don't we don't have that snare problem even when I press it really fast. And now you can just kind of time up your samples and do it however you want. I'm trying to get better at finger drumming with just one hand. It's very difficult. I didn't think it would be as hard as it is, uh, but I gotta say, I've only been using melodics for like two days and it's like guitar hero for your MIDI equipment. So if you have any MIDI equipment at all and you're trying to get better at using it, I highly recommend you get melodics because it will teach you how to use that MIDI equipment better. I got a link in the description for you to check that out. If you want to check out the sample packs as well, they're on sale in my store, the link in the description as well. And if you make lo-fi beats, also check the link in the description. 
I have submissions for playlists and you can check that out as well. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.